Welcome to Today I Work On, and episode three is gonna be the first light of the uni. We're gonna do the gas-powered part of it. We're not gonna do wood, we're not gonna do the charcoal. It's probably gonna be a little, a little too difficult for us beginners, and that's why we're doing this video. We're like super green with this whole pizza making thing, so that's why we're doing the video. So first step, we're gonna hook up the uni gas cartridge thing to a propane tank. And it's just like a simple connection like any propane tank. Make it nice and tight. And then next step is we're gonna turn, we're gonna open up the propane tank. After that, basically it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna turn on the uni. So I believe you just come here and it clicks. I think I heard it. We got fire. That looks pretty legit. It's on, it's smoking. It's probably at 200 degrees already. Uh, I'm gonna get my temp gun. I'm gonna check the, the stone plates. But they say, what do they do to season it? So you gotta let it burn for 30 minutes at 950 degrees to season it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Everything is open. The, uh, this, this, uh, I'm gonna call it a damper is open where the chimney is. And then that bottom piece is also open, I believe. Cause we're getting plenty of heat coming out of here. I think it's you can see it. the ceiling vent and the baffling so, vent. So I do have it on high, so let's season it up. <laughs> Let me see how dirty it is. Ooh, Ooh very sooty. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure it's going to get full of soot again, but that was the uh, stuff from the factory, so. All right, okay, we're going to turn it on? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're making our first pizza. What we got here is some uh, all-purpose flour, a little bit of mozzarella cheese. This is whole milk, which we really do like. And then I bought this pizza blend, which has four cheeses. It's mozzarella, provolone, parmesan, and romano. I don't know, we can experiment with this. Like I said, it's our first pizza. And then I did get this Rouse homemade pizza sauce. A lot of people were saying it was good pizza sauce. So I picked that up. And then this is my homemade canned spaghetti sauce, which I think we could probably just, you know, make a little thinner. We can thin it out a little bit. Cause you can't have pasta, uh, pizza sauce can't be thick. So you gotta thin it out. That's yeah. the one thing I know. And then we have, lastly, giant white pizza dough. So, so this is a basic, very basic. This is a basic pizza. <laughs> I have no expectations. We're gonna do one of each, one with the rouse, and then one with our tomato sauce. And are we doing reg regular style pizza, right? I mean, I bought I bought pepperoni too. It, no, no. I mean, it's pepperoni. like a not not a napolitano, just a regular pizza. Yeah, just a regular pizza. All, All right. right, who's helping make pizza? Me. Me too. All right. So we're Me gonna start too. with a well floured surface. Just so that our pizza doesn't stick. We've warmed this to room temperature. The dough is sticky. And I'm gonna separate this into two because we're gonna make two pizzas here, okay? That's a lot Set of dough on this anyway. first piece aside. Is um, we gotta knead that pizza just like that. So for the first pie, should we just do it with our sauce? I think we should do it with our sauce first. Okay. Parting. All right, so we pretty much got it to as good of a, about as good of a circle as I'm gonna get it. And I had taken my uh, spaghetti sauce, watered it down a little bit, so we're just gonna take a little bit. And from my experience in the past of making homemade pizzas, you always put too much sauce. So I'm just gonna put a light layer of sauce here. And we can always experiment with this later, but that's mm -hmm. about two teaspoons worth of sauce here. That looks good. Oh, I have a little bit more. Maybe a little more? Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, so two and a half. It looks like only a little bit, but I swear, it, it, every it, time it always yeah. ends up being too much, so. There you go, looks good to me. Next we're gonna go for the cheese. Mm. And honestly, I think if we just got a no, nice- can I do the cheese? Sure, baby. Uh, do let's, not, let's not open that one up yet, yeah, but- If we had a fresh block of mozzarella and we kind of put that yeah. on top, we'd probably have a bit I'm better. sure, and I'm sure there's different types of mozzarella you could buy. You could do your own fresh mozzarella, you could make it me if me you want. Too. All right, just- Good job. All right, everyone wants to put some cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Go for it. All right. Ooh, all right, not all right, too not much. Too Let's much. not go crazy. Because then it's gonna be, a th that's plenty, that's plenty. Plenty okay. of cheese. Okay, so that's basically the first pie. 
Um, I think it's too much cheese, but we'll see what happens. Liana wanted to put some pepperoni on there. You're just gonna put it on half, okay? Pepperoni, All right. pepperoni for you too. There you go. Pepperoni. Everyone wants some pepperoni. On this one side. On so let's just make it on this half of the pizza, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Half pepperoni, half cheese. So that's basically ready to go? Yep. You want to throw it in? Want to check yep. the oven? All right, let's go All check right, the let's oven. Do it. All right, we went to 913, and then let's get a uh, measurement. We're at almost 670. You think we should wait, or should we go? So the thing is, the instructions said that the ambient temperature should be about the same as the stone. So I don't know. Oh, it's off big time. It's really off. It is kind of cold out too, though. I'm gonna completely close the damper. All right, damper's closed. Do you want to just try it and see what happens? Sure, let's do it. All right, we're on, we're at 700 on the stone and we're at 925 in ambient. So we're gonna we'll wait for another 50 degrees and we'll be patient. Oh, yep, there you go, 950. All right, check the stone, see what, what temperature that is. 737. All right, well, that's all right, so that's about right. So I'm gonna. Slide this in here. Slide it in. Go, yep. There you go. Boom. All right. And now you're supposed to rotate that every uh, 20 or 30 seconds. Watch out. Whoa, look at that crisping up. That, that pepperoni is crisping. Man, Woo! that's insane. Look at that. All right. Uh, it's not, it's spin oh, boy. Spin it. Bring it okay. a little bit more forward. I'll see what I can do. Mm, that smells oh, delicious. Good. That's so crazy. Kind of crisping a bit. Yeah. Bring it. I would bring it closer. You're bringing it way too. There you go. Right there. Look at that. See too much cheese. Too much cheese. Um. I think it's done. <laughs> you think so? All right. Let's yeah. Pull it out. <laughs> There you go. All right, let's see what happens. This is our first one. Wow, that actually looks, that actually really, looks really good, huh? Okay. All right, let's try it out. All right, welcome to Pizza Reviews. This is our own pizza, our first type of pizza. It's our own tomato sauce with some store-bought dough, store-bought mozzarella. The only thing that's homemade is the sauce. So let's try it out. The dough is not good at all. <laughs> It tastes like it's too sourdoughy. It's That's, not sourdough, it's but it has a very dough. sourdoughy taste. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> like no joke, I have to give it like a 26 out of 100. Oh, but it's really that bad, huh? It's really it that bad. It looks good though. It looks good, but we really have a long way to go here. So let's put in a second pie. It's not as much cheese and we'll see how it tastes. And I think we could probably keep, I mean, the bottom is pretty close to done, but I think we need another 20 seconds on it in the oven. So let's let's put the second one in and see what happens. I don't like the smell of this pizza whatsoever. Yeah. This is like a super epic whatever. All right, let's try this one out. It's nice and hot. It's a similar, it's similar. It's just, we put this one in a little bit longer. You see it's a little bit crispier. It has a little bit more of a burnt taste. Well done, which I like, but it's still, it's, it's still absolute garbage. It's maybe like a 28 out of 100 just because I got a little crisp on there. The bottom is a little bit more well done. See the bottom, the big difference? We'll show the two. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, that one's definitely uncooked. Yeah, that one's uncooked. We have a lot to learn, so I think that's a wrap for this video. If you want to watch our journey and how we make pizza in the uni, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. And we're super excited to like mail this pizza down. So again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.